Greetings humanity of planet Earth. We are anonymous. On October 27, 2014, in Sydney, Australia, 12 countries gathered together, in a closed door meeting, to consider the final stages of the world's largest economic trade agreement. For the hosting country, it means entering into the largest trade agreement in Australian history. For the others involved, it means the world's largest economic trade agreement. It is a decisive moment for all involved, and one, that according to Julian Assange experts from the medical, agricultural, economic, and media fields, will have far-reaching consequences for the global population. The Trans-Pacific Partnership TPP, Intellectual Property Rights Chapter IP, encompasses more than 40% of the world's gross domestic product GDP, or if you will, 40% of all goods and services produced. When you consider the figures, as Matt Wade, a senior writer for the age, discusses, a deal as significant as the TPP, should be fully debated in the community. It is not good enough, that just one in ten voters, know about it. Julian Assange also questions the legitimacy of the TPP, highlighting the secrecy surrounding the negotiations. On the WikiLeaks website, a second updated version of the TPP has been released. It is pointed out that some concerns surrounding the digital rights have moved slightly since the initial TPP document release, but additions within the pharmaceuticals and patents have become more significant. The consequences of this development are likely to affect access to important medicines, such as cancer drugs, and will also weaken the requirements needed to patent genes in plants which will impact small farmers and boost the dominance of large agricultural corporations like Monsanto. If the closed-door meeting is successful, the Trans-Pacific Partnership TPP, will threaten the continuation of our freedom of information, civil liberties will be at risk. Large corporations have access to the draft agreement, where those in government, are unable to view it. The push for a resolution has somewhat stalled between Japan and the United States, as they struggle to reach an agreement, over market access for agriculture and its protection. Julian Assange acknowledges this, as an insight to the concerns surrounding the TPP. The lack of movement within the TPPIP chapter, shows that this only stands to harm people, and no one is satisfied. This clearly demonstrates, that such an all-encompassing and divisive trade agreement, is too damaging to be brought into force. The TPP should stop now. But the meeting this week in Australia, may well see it ignited again, as the November midterm elections in the United States loom overhead. Put this alongside the APEC summit in Beijing, and the G20 summit in Brisbane Australia, both also scheduled for November, a pattern begins to emerge. To sum up the importance of the TPP's agenda, Julian Assange stipulates the overbearing nature of the agreement on WikiLeaks. The selective secrecy surrounding the TPP negotiations, which has let in a few cashed up mega corporations, but excluded everyone else, reveals a telling fear of public scrutiny. By publishing this text, we allow the public to engage in issues, that will have such a fundamental impact on their lives. Member countries of the TPP are, Australia, Brunei, Canada, Chile, Japan, Malaysia, Mexico, New Zealand, Singapore, Peru, the United States, and Vietnam. We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. To Australia, Brunei, Canada, Chile, Japan, Malaysia, Mexico, New Zealand, Singapore, Peru, the United States, and Vietnam governments. Expect us.